The Atlantic Ocean covers nearly 20% of the Earth's surface. Lying on the sea floor are hundreds of thousands of shipwrecks. We only know the location of a small fraction, but why they sank is a mystery in itself. Perhaps one of the Atlantic's most mysterious and deadly areas is the Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda, an island oasis 650 miles off the eastern United States. For centuries, it's been a refuge for Atlantic shipping, but the island's waters conceal a deadly threat. At the same time as being incredibly attractive, Bermuda also represents a, a, a serious no-go area for mariners without specific Bermuda experience. Bermuda's name came to strike fear into the hearts of sailors. It became known as the Isle of Devils. The paradox of Bermuda as paradise is that it was literally a, a ship's graveyard for its first two, three hundred years. As custodian of the wrecks, it's Philippe Rouge's job to track and monitor Bermuda's historic shipwrecks. And there are plenty here to keep him occupied. In fact, these waters may have claimed up to 300 vessels. Why have so many ships come to grief in these crystal clear seas so close to land? Today, Philippe's visiting several wrecks that could throw some light on this mystery. First, the Mary Celestia, an iron-hulled steamship carrying supplies in the American Civil War. She left Bermuda, she came down South Shore, and came to her demise right here, which is a very curious thing because we're literally only 800 meters from shore. And it happened on a flat, calm day. There's a lot of intrigue about it. I'm trying to figure out just how this came to be. She lies just over 50 feet down. The ship's distinctive paddle wheel is still recognizable. Just around the coast, there's another wreck, the Constellation. And slightly further, yet another, the Montana. In fact, according to Philippe's records, there are wrecks completely encircling Bermuda. There's clearly something out there that poses a deadly threat to shipping. To answer this and other long-standing Bermuda Triangle mysteries, we need to see the underwater lay of the land. We need to drain the ocean layer by layer. To gradually reveal an extraordinary landscape never seen before. It's only possible to look into the Bermuda Triangle's depths thanks to a fast-evolving technology called sonar mapping. Sonar mapping fires sound waves to the ocean floor. The return signals display the shape and depth of the land beneath. And it's sonar technology that may help uncover the cause of the hundreds of shipwrecks surrounding the island. Hey, how you doing, Nick? All right, good, man. How you doing? Geologist good. Nick Hutchings is a modern-day prospector. Today, he's using sonar mapping to hunt for signs of specific underwater formations close to where some of Bermuda's wrecks lie. What we're looking for are mineral deposits, and they could be in the form of extinct uh, vents, hydrothermal vents, known as black smokers. Nick believes the now extinct vents could contain rare metals and minerals, 
we would be looking at gold and copper. And with the crusts, there you're looking at platinum, cobalt, nickel, and particularly the rare earths. And the rare earths are, are important now because uh, they're vital to all of our modern technology.